Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to my channel. I'm grateful you're here. Um, so um, I'm about to head out on a road trip. I'm leaving September 20th. I'm leaving in about 12 days. And I'll be gone for two months. And I will be living in this for two months. So this is a little bit different than going on a road trip for three days on my way to Iowa and I'm living in here for three days and in three days, I'm not living in here anymore. I'm in a house. Um, it's a little different than going up for a meetup up in New Hampshire, getting the campground for a couple of nights, living out of this, coming back home. So this is going to be a little bit more than just a road trip. This is going to be a uh, pretty gosh darn epic. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to Arizona. It's a 42 hour drive from my house to my friend's house in Arizona. Now she is my friend. I met her um, on Facebook in a van life uh, senior women community uh, group. And um, we, uh, we met up uh, in Quartzsite a couple of years ago. Um, I was not doing a road trip at the time. I was, I was just in the area uh, vacationing and I met, I just, I didn't have my van with me, but I met her. She had her van. She has a minivan. She's got a great little camp minivan camper. Um, she's very delightful. We, we really hit it off well. And we're going to, we're going to spend two months together, um, caravanning all around Arizona. We have a couple of solid plans only because they're real hot spots like the Grand Canyon and Sedona. Um, you know, we didn't want to find ourselves in those areas and then struggling to try to find a place to stay nearby. Um, outside of that, all of Arizona is like a van life playground. Okay. So there's going to be options galore of where we can stay and um, uh, camp and go from place to place. We have a whole little list of all places that we want to go. And, um, and we're going to just be sure we're home for Thanksgiving. So that's the plan. So I'm planning on leaving here at September 20th. I'm planning on getting to uh, her place in Arizona. She's a, a little bit north of Phoenix. I'm planning to get to her place by uh, October 1st, no later than October 1st. And there's a friend that I have in Albuquerque. I'm going to be going right through Albuquerque. So I'm going to stop in and visit with him. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, so October 1st is when we plan to hit the road. So she is, uh, she has a condo in Arizona and she has said, when I get there, what we ought to do is I should just like come in. We can, I can do laundry. I can <laughs> recover from the 10 days on the road, do laundry, you go in the pool, her swimming pool, and then, um, you know, have a shower, just get, food shopping and get all set up. So we'll take a few days before we actually hit the road and uh, not go back to her house at all until uh, I think we're going to wrap it up by November 19th, something like that. So this is pretty exciting. So now uh, what I want to do is, you know, there's always something to tweak and make better. And I thought about the little things, just a couple of little things that, um, I believe need to be tweaked or fixed or changed uh, just to make my experience living in 28 square feet for two months. Okay. Now 28 square feet is probably smaller than your bathroom. Okay. So this is a very tiny space that I am doing everything in. Um, it's very interesting that uh, the people that I meet at the meetups, um, people that watch my channel and I have meetups and I meet subscribers uh, on the road. Uh, everybody that has seen my van on my channel and then sees it in person, they say, wow, it's a lot smaller than it looks on YouTube. I was like, well, that makes sense on why people are suggesting some things to me that it just make no sense because there's just no room, you know? Um, people do make some suggestions that I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. They just, perhaps don't realize very, very, very tiny. So I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make these few little changes to make my life more pleasant. Um, just a little bit 
uh, just to cut down on just a few of the inconveniences. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I had my friend Bob, he came over yesterday and we talked about a few of them because I wanted to get some of his ideas on it. And, um, he, uh, he liked my ideas and he had also had some other good suggestions too. Uh, one of the things he's going to help me with, cause one of it involves cutting metal and I don't know that I'm real. I don't have the tools for that. And if I did, I'd probably be afraid of it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I like a good power tool and I can do a circular saw and I can do a jigsaw, but when it gets to like sawzalls and, um, hacksaws and stuff, I'm, be I'm better off just staying, staying away from those. I'm going to show you the things I'm going to change. So the first thing I want to talk about is my cooler seat. This cooler top is working out fabulous. I went to Iowa for three days. The ice stays cold every night, every 24 hours. I swap out my ice packs. And every time I opened it up, that everything was still cool. The ice packs were still cool, just like uh, when it had the other cover on it. It's just working out like a charm. I'm so grateful that I can now sit on this and have a couple of inches of headspace. Total game changer. Total, like you have no idea. No idea. And my head wasn't even like, hit, I wasn't even like this. I was just brushing on the top. It's just, I'm telling you, it will wear on you. <laughs> it will wear on you. So there's a few changes I want to make to this cover. Uh, so uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get a piece of foam. I'm going to cut it the whole size of this. I want it to be probably two inches thick because this is an inch thick and it's really not thick enough. And I sink in it anyway. So if I get a, if I, I can spare the inch. So if I get a two inch piece of foam, I'll have more cushion and I'll sink into it so it will really only be bringing me up an inch. And I want to make it the whole side, the whole size. These things weren't quite big enough for the whole thing. I want to make it the whole size of this. Then I want to put a fabric over it. And then I'm going to staple the fabric on this, um, on the wood behind here. Have it nice and upholstered, you know. I'm going to do that. Another thing I need to do is this uh, foil right here is very fragile. See, like... Right here, it got a little dinged, and it started to rip the um, the um, the foil. And under this foil is all the styrofoam, these styrofoam balls. So I think where this is so um, this it's just so delicate and fragile. Anytime I'm taking it on and off, this is just going to end up getting destroyed. So I'm going to just I'm going to cover this whole back, and I think I'm going to cover it with this tuck tape. Tuck tape, T U C K, really good tape. It's very good. It's very, very thin. It's very thin and it sticks. I, somebody talked about it on YouTube and they said it's the best tape. It sticks to everything, like plastic and everything. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get me a roll of that. And it is, it is, it is very easy to work with. I think I'm going to cover the whole um, back of this with tuck tape instead of duct tape. Duct tape is just very thick and sticky. This is paper thin and sticky and feels just as um, effective. So that's what I'm going to do. Cover this with tuck tape and then put a new cushion on there. And then my cooler will be all set for comfy, cozy experience. So now my pallet cabinet. Um, a lot of people have asked, why didn't you put this top on hinges so you could open it up? And use the space that's up here. Well, when I'm putting bags of laundry, I put a bag of laundry here, then I put the next one on top of it, and then I can stuff the next one up here on top of it. So I have like three bags of laundry, and I am utilizing that space. But you know something? I don't want I don't want to not be able to put things on here. Like if this if this could open, I would have to move my CO2 detector because it would hit that. I wouldn't be able to have those pretty things there. It just I, I like it just the way it is. So um, my hot logic fits right here, right in the middle, really well. So now the change I want to make is to the other side. So the other side is where I keep my shoes. So in this side of the cabinet is where I keep all my shoes. So what happens is, is down here next to the wheel well, there's a tiny space. Then it gets bigger. Um, so I usually put my sneakers down there. I start putting my sandals and my slippers here. But what happens is when they're all stacked on top of each other, they just keep dropping and falling out. 
I open this and they fall out. I, I'm trying to push them back to close the door and they fall out. So I was like, all right, you know, I understand that uh, I'm grateful for the space. It's a great place for me to keep my shoes, but I need to new and improve this. I need to figure out a way that I can make this more user friendly. <laughs> So what I did was I thought of different options and I had this great idea. I found this old yucky plastic thing that I need to clean in my garage. So what my idea is, is that this is going to go just like this at that angle. See that angle right there? So it's not like a shelf. It's like, it's, it's like a, it's at an angle like that. And I'm going to screw the side of it into here. I'm going to just use a washer and a screw and screw it right into this wall so it stays just like that. But right now it will stay just like that if I let go. So here's my, my walking shoes. I'm going to put those down here. And then having this lip right here to hold things from falling out, and having all this space up here that I can use, check this out. Up, in, up, in, and then my slippers. Look at that. Look at that. Well, you look at that. <laughs> so it's all being held in. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's perfect. I'm using that space up there. This is holding them from falling out. This just closes easy breezy. I just need to, I mean, look, it, it almost like stays, but I'm going to screw it into the side. And that is my brainstorm on solving that minor annoyance just an annoyance because i end up getting them in and then i close the door but why why not come up with some solutions just to cut down on inconveniences it's you know living in 28 square feet is is a challenge um but i love it another problem that i want to solve is um, the ceiling. So I have all these panels are up here. They're corrugated plastic covered with fabric. They I've used um, uh, industrial strength Velcro. They're not coming down. They're not coming down. But because of gravity, they can get a little droopy. So it was starting to annoy me that they were like drooping down here. And so I stuck some of the alien tape in here alien tape and press these edges. I just want these edges to stay up because sometimes with the grab, they're not going to fall down because that industrial strength Velcro is going nowhere, but they can get droopy. So now if it's really warm out and the ceiling gets really, really hot, this alien tape can get a little warm. And then I find myself like sticking it back up. Uh, it just droops down a little bit. So I don't want that drooping anymore. I want it to stay. Another thing I want to stay is, if you remember, I had that problem with this thing falling out, this, uh, this, this uh, border for the Max Air fan. The problem with all the suggestions that I got, use double-sided tape, use Velcro. What I'm doing is I'm attaching it to the fabric. And then I still got gravity that's pulling. So I, what I did was I stuck a couple of dabs of hot glue in these corners under here and stuck that. But these right here, I don't like, it's, it's still going to droop because it's, uh, it's, um, cause of gravity. So what I decided to do, and this is what I talked to Bob with about is that I'm going to get an L bracket, a little small L bracket. I'm going to attach it right here. So it will go here, here, there's the L. So it's going to be screwed right into this hard plastic. 
and then the other part of the L is just going to be holding that, holding that up. Uh, same thing over here. And then that's going to take care of that because this, this will take care of the gravity over here. So what I'm going to do about the gravity over here, I've got, I can't, I can't screw these in. There's nothing to screw them into because on the other side of this is insulation and then metal. Can't do that. So what I had, my idea that I ran by Bob, if you can just imagine, here's a demonstration. <laughs> All right. So like what I'm imagining is that we'll get this big, long piece of metal. So just say it would be about a half an inch wide and very thin. So uh, I want to make it into pieces. I want to paint them white. I want to make them into pieces. If you can imagine that this was a piece and it was screwed right into the rib. So it would be screwed in there and it would be just long enough to just get this, this panel under it. And the other end of it would be just, it would, that's how long it would be from here to here, just like that. And then it would be screwed right into the rib. Um, and I thought what we would do is we would do one, two, three, four, and then over here, one, see, it's like, see, see these right here? See how they're, they're stuck, but then they, they come down because of gravity. So this would be right here, right here, right here, and right here. And that's all I need. They would be small. They would be, the first thing Bob said was, that's going to just look awful. But I said, no, because I want, I don't, they don't need to be big, heavy, thick pieces of metal. It can just be very thin, just a very thin piece of metal, uh, as long as it's strong and, and sturdy and it's not bendable. It, all it needs to do is just be, just to hold that up like that. And I'll, I'll paint it white so it will blend right in with the rib. And it's only going to be over the fabric like a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch. That's it. And then it's, it, the, white, the white should just blend right in with the rib. So if we're going we're gonna to tackle that project. And um, I just don't want to be fixing this all the time. Um, because it just it bothers my eye. It doesn't even matter that it's dropping because it's not, it's not dropping on my head. It's, not, it's just drooping a little and it just like bugs me and I just want it fixed. So that's what we're going to do. So one last thing is the bed. A bed needs an adjustment. So uh, when this bed was first built and I first started using it, these fit right under here just perfectly. Now they don't fit. <laughs> and you know why they don't fit? because the bed is drooping a little bit because I put, especially when I'm sitting in the bed, all my weight is right here. So um, I can really, I, I can shove them under like this. I can shove it under, but that those, there's two of them right here. There's two. And that, this is my uh, pantry. This is my food storage. So it's just, I can't get them in and out like I used to. So what we need is we need another leg. So I'm going to put another leg right here. Um, so we we found we found this wood. So we'll just do, make it out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a leg that's about a half an inch taller than this, and then I'm just going to shove it right under this bed. I'm going to lift this bed and shove that to bring that up so that this fits under, and then I'm just going to throw a, a screw in the bed frame right down into the into the middle of the leg that's how i'm going to solve that situation so um other than that this thing is just the best it's just uh it's great to travel in it's a great size it's easy to drive it's easy to park it's comfortable um i have everything i need it's just these few things i'm going to just Get her done, get her done. All of these things will be done by the 20th. Yay! So thanks for watching. Bye for now.